here, Taurus. This is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts doing a twin flame connection reading for you and taking a look at what the universe really needs you to know at this time about your twin flame connection. I'll be pulling from these four decks, two of them by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot and the Tarot decks by me. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. It is general as always, Taurus, so please do keep that in mind throughout your reading and take from it what makes sense for you personally and release the rest. All right, so for your twin flame connection, let's see. What's the message? For Taurus, please. Talking to a brick wall. Oh boy, let's see what else we can find out. So some sort of blockage right there towards communication. What else do we need to know here for the Twin Flame Love Connection for Taurus? Equality. Okay, so there could have been issues with equality in the partnership, equal give and take, that sort of vibe. And maybe you tried to get your point across to this person, Taurus, but you weren't getting anywhere. Let's see what else. Maybe they just didn't treat you right. Or fairly wedding songs some of you guys could have been married or maybe have planned to get married but something occurred there karmic soul triggers Ooh. all right let's see what this is about you could also have had to deal with a karmic partner so this might even be Dealing with more than just your twin flame connection with someone, Taurus. It's either that or you might have been dealing with a karmic partner that got in the way of you interacting with your twin flame. That might have created a separation as well. Look at this. We've got the lover's card. Some of you could be dealing with Gemini specifically. We also have the devil card representing Capricorn. So what I am ultimately feeling for this reading, Taurus, could be multiple people, including yourself, of course. You might be torn between two people. I'm kind of getting that for some of you guys. Uh, one could be the Gemini, one could be the Capricorn. But regardless of signs, one option could be a better person, a better connection for you. That could be your twin flame. The other one could be more of a toxic relationship, but, you know, it's something that continues to draw you in, perhaps. So the devil can represent addictions of some sort. That could be something that attracts you to them. You know, a very addictive type or obsessive way of interacting with this person, even though it could be an unhealthy partnership. So be mindful of that one. The lover's card can represent third parties okay it could represent infidelity that you might have ran into in your connections but at the end of the day the lover's card represents a decision that needs to be made either on your part or someone else's part but that doesn't always mean that we make the right choices when it comes to love when it, when it comes to partnerships You could have gotten yourself involved in somebody who was married also. So if there was no equality in that connection, that's because they were extending themselves to somebody else. So I can't help but feel that for some of you anyway, there could be third party involvement. We have the fool. All right. So I'm feeling that from your heart space anyway, Taurus. You have this desire to just kind of hit the reset button when it comes to your romantic life and just start again. You know, you're just wanting to be free of some of the challenges that you've run into when it comes to your love connections. We do have the four of cups. I do feel for some of my Tauruses that you stepped away from certain connections that just were not feeding your soul. Part of the energy of the Four of Cups represents regrets and certainly missed chances, missed opportunities. 
look at this three of swords so speaking of love triangles third parties it's presenting itself here if you relate to this then you ended up getting hurt from this whole situation okay hopefully that's a thing of the past and you're no longer interacting with somebody in that way but it might have something to do with this karmic soul trigger so it's almost like you keep hurting yourself over and over with the same type of scenario so you got to clear the the karmic tie that karmic pull that you feel towards somebody because i kind of feel that it might be preventing you from being with a much healthier partner preventing you from being with a twin flame love It's almost like the universe is saying, hey, go this way. But you might actually be blind to it or you don't even see the way. So you're being given the opportunity to grow from this type of experience to connect with somebody in your heart space, certainly a possible twin flame connection that's way better suited for you. But there, there seems to be someone in the mix that just keeps pulling you in and they're not a good person. Or they've got their own issues. And it's preventing you from finding your happiness. Okay? This karmic soul trigger has something to do with that devil energy. Could have, could be a Capricorn. All right, let's see what else. Let's see what else for Taurus. Something's preventing you from finding real love with a twin flame. Or being with your twin. If you've already found that love, you're not with them right now because you've got some lessons to learn when it comes to a karmic partner. All right, what else do we need to know for Taurus? Drinking from another cup of love. Yeah, that might have something to do with the karmic. What else for Taurus? transition okay in a way i kind of feel that the universe is pushing you towards this transition to create change in your life for the better so there's this third element or another person that i've mentioned that they're not good for you and you know who that is part of this transition look at this it's leading you towards this path where we have healthy vibes so going back to the devil card it literally says unhealthy attachments okay so it's trying to get you away from there away from that situation look at this and now we've got freedom break free from those chains that bind you when it comes to toxic situations or people taurus all right, so let's go ahead and grab some additional tarot here. It could be your twin flame that comes in to save the day. Angels and spirit guides, please, for Taurus. We have the two of pentacles, juggling priorities. So this is an indication here, Taurus that you need to set your priorities get your priorities straight i cannot make this up guys we've got the devil look at the next card two of swords followed by the seven of cups here's your unhealthy situation your unhealthy partnership it's not going to go anywhere there will be no progress or you're meant to put a stop to it okay make a different choice because there's some opportunities that will be presenting itself to you if it hasn't already and you have to recognize which of these options is the better one for you you've got the assistance of the magician to be able to manifest a better partnership for yourself a healthier relationship it could ultimately be your twin flame that comes in again to save the day somehow because whoever it is you're focused on that's coming in with that devil energy, it's like, come on over, Taurus. But, it, you know, you have to be strong enough to realize, uh-uh, you're bad for me. You also have the Ace of Pentacles that is followed by the High Priestess. Um, I'm feeling this especially for my Divine Feminines. 
you have to trust what your gut is telling you. If you're picking up off of red flags when it comes to people or a particular connection, then you got to get out of there. You have to be able to find the strength to end it because that one choice could ultimately shift so much going on in your romantic life or just life overall. That's where this transition is wanting to happen. You know, right now you're kind of surrounding yourself with unhealthy attachments, unhealthy connections, and that's what's preventing you from finding real true happiness. You know, you've got this ace of pentacles, which is life giving you a new beginning to start again, new adventures, new opportunities, new people, new connections. One of those connections could be your twin. And so I really feel my feminines needing to trust your heart and perhaps you already know it. It's like my existing partnership is not a good one. I need to find a way to sever ties with that so that I can open up the possibilities of meeting different people. And as I mentioned, one of those connections could be a twin flame love. So this is very interesting from compared to the other signs in that there were already existing twin flame connections there. And a lot of them came through as those in separation. But for your reading, Taurus, I'm feeling that you have a toxic relationship that is not a twin flame connection. And your first and only priority is to break free from that in order to move on with your life, in order to find real happiness. And your destination, as far as your ideal love, could be a twin flame. But it's preventing you from getting there because of this unhealthy relationship. So put a stop to it if if this relates to you and change things up because the direction really that the universe wants you to go, that's where your real happiness lies. All right, so I don't know who this is for, but that's the energy that I'm picking up and hopefully this resonated for somebody out there. Um, if you're interested in your own reading, that info is down below in the description box. And I'll, of course, include the link to the decks you see here. Thank you, Taurus. I'll see you next time. Take care.